Deep in the heart of the southwestern United States, tucked away in the arid deserts of New Mexico, a small town named Roswell has etched its name into the annals of history and science fiction. What transpired here in 1947 still reverberates through the corridors of time, asking questions we don't quite have the answers for. This place, this moment in time, is the genesis of a worldwide fascination with unidentified flying objects, or UFOs. The Roswell Incident, as it has come to be known, remains one of the most enduring and controversial mysteries of our era. In the summer of 1947, a significant event unfolded in the tranquil desertscape. William Mac Brazel, a local rancher, while going about his routine work, would discover something that would forever change the course of his life, and inadvertently, the town of Roswell. While tending to his sheep in a pasture about 75 miles north of the town, Brazel stumbled upon a peculiar sight. The desert floor was littered with debris unlike anything he'd ever seen before. Amidst the vast sandy expanse, fragments of rubber, tinfoil, sticks, and what appeared to be pieces of heavy gauge paper littered the area. Among these, he found glossy, metallic fabric that, to his astonishment, would spring back to its original shape when crumpled. Baffled by this strange discovery, Brazel felt the material was worth investigating. He collected some of the wreckage, stowing it away safely, before making his way to the town sheriff. The sheriff, George Wilcox, was equally perplexed by the findings and contacted the nearby Roswell Army Air Field. Roswell, at this time, was home to the world's only atomic bomber squadron, lending it significant strategic importance in the post-war era. The military reacted quickly to Wilcox's report and dispatched intelligence officer Major Jesse Marcel to the ranch to evaluate the materials. Upon his return, Marcel reported that he, too, was unable to identify the wreckage. The Roswell Army Air Field, under the command of Colonel William Blanchard, decided to issue a press release about the incident. On July 8, 1947, the Roswell Daily Records headline read, RAF captures flying saucer on ranch in Roswell region, sending ripples across the nation. The news, capturing public imagination, fueled speculations of an extraterrestrial spacecraft crash. However, the excitement was short-lived. Barely a day after the initial press release, the military backpedaled on its statement. General Roger Ramey, commander of the 8th Air Force at Fort Worth Army Air Field in Texas, declared that the debris was nothing more than remnants from a fallen weather balloon. This sudden shift in narrative raised eyebrows and left many questioning the military's transparency, marking the beginning of numerous conspiracy theories that continue to flourish to this day. Over the years, the intrigue surrounding the Roswell incident has only deepened. Allegations of a government cover-up grew stronger as the U.S. Air Force published two reports in the 1990s suggesting that the so-called weather balloon was, in fact, a top-secret nuclear test surveillance balloon from Project Mogul. And yet, a section of the public, emboldened by alleged eyewitness accounts, continued to believe that the wreckage was not of this Earth. Witnesses have come forward claiming that not only was the wreckage from an extraterrestrial spacecraft, but also that the military had recovered alien bodies from the crash site, which were quickly transported away for study. The military has consistently denied such claims, maintaining the stance that the debris was nothing more than a conventional weather balloon or a top-secret military project. Still, these denials have done little to quell the public's curiosity and skepticism. With several whistleblowers claiming they were part of operations to retrieve and cover up the incident, the mystery has only become more convoluted over the years. Into this cauldron of conjecture and debate stepped various researchers, enthusiasts, and investigators. Numerous books and documentaries have been produced, each offering its interpretation of the events of that fateful summer. One of the more popular narratives is that proposed by authors Stanton Friedman and Donald Schmidt, who suggested that two spaceships crashed in the Roswell vicinity, and the wreckage, 
along with alien bodies, were hastily recovered and hidden away in a government conspiracy of silence. Meanwhile, skeptics, often armed with scientific rebuttals, have continued to advocate for the weather balloon explanation or similar prosaic answers. Faced with the official narrative of a mundane weather balloon crash and the more sensational theories of alien spacecraft, it's not hard to understand why the Roswell incident has captured the collective imagination. The lure of the unexplained, the possibility of life beyond our planet, and the lengths to which a government might go to protect its secrets, all make for a compelling narrative that continues to thrive in popular culture. The story of Roswell is further complicated by the fact that in 1994, the U.S. Air Force released a report titled, The Roswell Report, Fact vs. Fiction in the New Mexico Desert. The report suggested that the debris was part of a then-top-secret project called Project Mogul, which was aimed at detecting sound waves from potential Soviet atomic bomb tests. The balloon train involved in this project could have given rise to the initial reports of a flying disc. Despite this revelation, or perhaps because of it, the debate around the incident continued unabated. As we move further away from that fateful summer of 1947, the truth behind the Roswell incident becomes increasingly elusive. Regardless of whether it was a weather balloon, a top-secret military experiment, or an extraterrestrial visit, Roswell will forever remain a cornerstone of the UFO phenomenon and a symbol of public mistrust in government transparency. Indeed, the legacy of the Roswell incident is evident in the cultural impact it continues to wield. From books, films, and TV series to the International UFO Museum and Research Center in Roswell itself, the incident has left an indelible mark on our collective psyche. More than just a local incident, Roswell is now emblematic of humanity's yearning to know if we are alone in the universe, and of our innate curiosity about the unknown. But what really happened in Roswell in 1947? We may never have a definitive answer. The mystery is likely to endure, fascinating and perplexing future generations just as it has us. The incident has raised more questions than it has answered, about our place in the cosmos, about the unknown, and about ourselves. Whatever the truth might be, the narrative of Roswell, with its combination of science, fiction, secrecy, and possibility, will continue to captivate us. The enigma of Roswell remains unsolved, but one thing is certain, the quest for answers continues, and the allure of the unknown will keep driving us forward on this extraordinary journey. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, searching for signs of life and pondering our own significance, the Roswell incident continues to echo as a reminder of the mystery that surrounds us. A single event, buried in the past, yet alive in our collective consciousness, pushing us to question, to explore, and to seek the truth. This journey through the enigma of the Roswell incident may not have given us definitive answers, but it has hopefully illuminated the enduring fascination with this chapter of history, a fascination that transcends borders and generations. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the Roswell incident, please remember to like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Stay curious, stay vigilant, and most importantly, keep questioning. After all, the truth is indeed out there. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Until next time, keep looking up.